So when you look in the book of Genesis, we are told why the woman was created. And then we are told what she was named by Adam. She's called Hava. And the reason why she's called Hava is because in the Hebrew it says, Em Kol Haya. Now, Em Kol Haya means because she's the mother of all life. But why do you call her Hava instead of Haya? Because if she gets the name, because Em Kol Haya, Haya means mother of all life or living one then why don't you call her Haya, but rather you call her Hava? For a long time, the Hebrews in West Africa, the Aves, um, have asserted that they speak the ancient Hebrew tongue. And they have said that the dialect that they speak was the language that they used in writing the text. Now, let's look at this same text that I've just gone over from their perspective and see if we can really find the meanings of these names in depth because according to them, their language or their dialects, it defines reality from within. It was the tongue according to them that even Adam spoke. Let's look at the name that is called the woman in the book of Genesis. It is Hawa. My ever people will notice that the name Hawa, which is translated to Hava or Eve, has two words in it. The first is Ha, and the other one is Wa. What is Ha in the ancient Hebrew or Eve tongue? Ha means the side. What is Wa? Wa means to create or made or make. So now if you put the two words together in the name Hawa, it means created from the side. What it's doing is, is actually defining reality, is telling you what really happened in the text. Let's look at the name Adam. Adam has a variant, Adam. That is how the Ev is pronounced, Adam. Okay, when you look at that word or that name Adam, you notice three things. You notice the word Eh. Eh in ancient Ev is he or she. And then you notice De. De means to resemble to look like. And then the last, ma. Ma is me. You put these together and what do you get? He or she resembles me. Now, go back to the text. Let us make man in our image. The person made, the entity made, resembles the one who made him. So the name Adam means he or she resembles me. We can go on all day giving you insights from the text using the ancient Ave tongue. What the Aves in West Africa assert, that is the ancient tongue that the text was written in, that even Moshe spoke. Could this be true? Are they making it up? We will find out when the book is released. That gives you the pictographs, its meanings, and how it is seen from the ancient MA lens. Watch out for it. It's going to be a game changer. Try. Oh, my name,